Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing so well. So for today's video, I'm going to be creating this look right here. I created this using all 100% cruelty free organic makeup. This video is another collaboration with Inika Organic who I love dearly. You guys know that their mascara is my holy grail mascara of all time. It's my favorite. Um, so yeah, which is why I've just stuck with my natural lashes for this look. I haven't glued on any falsies because I just didn't feel like I needed it. But a lot of people have this perception about organic makeup that you can't create anything overly dramatic or um, anything other than like the natural soft makeup. So I want to show you guys today how you can create a really glam going out evening look using all organic makeup. So yeah, I really, really loved it. I freaking love the look. It's the lip color is so different to anything that I would usually do, but I love it. It's just like a really burnt kind of fiery red which I love it was kind of like a ready orange um, and we've got some like coppery eyes coppery smoky eyes with a bold wing so yeah I really love it and I hope you guys do too so if you want to see how to achieve this look please stay tuned I was about to say stick around that was like a that was a cross between stick around and stay tuned <laughs> If you want to see how to achieve this look, please stick around and enjoy this video. God's plan. God's plan. I hold back sometimes I won't. Yeah. I feel good sometimes I don't. Yeah. I finesse down Western Road. Okay, so starting off with the Inica Day to Night Eyeshadow Palette, I'm taking the shade Bronze and applying this into the socket of my crease with my Inica Blending Brush. We want this to act as the base to all the shadows that we'll be applying to our crease, so you want to make sure that you're blending that out really well. I'm starting with a little bit of product and building my way up. Moving on, we're taking the shade Chestnut and we are applying this to the outer corner of the eye and blending this out. I want to start by putting the deepest of the pigment on the outer corner and then making sure to blend it into the socket of the crease so it kind of gradually fades in. I'm starting with a dense blending brush and then I'll be switching back to the Inica eyeshadow blending brush. Blending is the key to acing any makeup look so you want to make sure that these colors are blending and melting into each other. Picking up the Inica Pressed Mineral Eyeshadow Duo in the shade Black Sand, I'm taking the black from that duo and applying this to my outer corner but closest to the lash line. I kind of want this to look like a smoky faded out outer liner type. So I'm taking a fluffy type of pencil brush and applying that little by little. I'm not applying too much product at once because black can get very messy. So you just want to gradually build up the color and blend it out. You can see that this is quite a gradual process. You can see that I'm adding literally the tiniest amount of pigment at a time and blending it out. I feel like this achieves the most flawless look at the end. I'm taking another pressed mineral eyeshadow duo, this time in the shade Gold Oyster, and I'm taking the darker of the two shades and applying this directly onto my lid with an Inica flat brush. Then I'm taking a loose mineral eyeshadow also by Inica in the shade Copper Crush and packing this onto my lid as well. And oh my goodness, how stunning is this shade? It is so pigmented, so easy to apply. It's super pigmented even when you don't use your finger. And I even created a cut crease without intentionally doing so. So I really, really loved this pigment and this shade. So yeah. <laughs> then you just want to blend out the um, pigment with the outer corners. And I'm taking the eyeshadow duo in the shade Chalk Coffee. And I'm taking the dark chocolate brown shade and using that to connect... Um, the copper color with the darker outer corner colors just so everything has a really nice gradient and blends out well together. Going back into the Inica Day to Night Eyeshadow Palette, I'm taking the shade Sparkle and adding this to my brow bone for a beautiful brow bone highlight. We are then picking up the Inica Liquid Liner in the shade Black and creating a beautiful bold winged liner. So same concept as always, starting from the middle, working my way out, then bringing it into the inner corner and then back out and creating my wing and bringing that flick in and connecting everything together. This next product needs no introduction because I've used this so much on my channel, but it's the Inica Long Lash Mascara 
one of my absolute favorite all-time mascaras. I am just packing this onto my lashes and we are skipping the false lashes because I don't need them with this mascara. And then taking the Inika Certified Organic Rosehip Oil in the Enriched and applying this all over my face because we all know how dry my skin is. But this is amazing because it just hydrates my skin and leaves my skin looking all dewy and hydrated. Then taking the Inika Lip Serum, I'm applying this to my lips because they are super dry and I need to prep them before I apply any type of lipstick. Moving on to the face, I'm taking the Inika Certified Organic Liquid Foundation in the shade Cream and applied this and buffed it all over my face with the Inika Foundation Brush. I just buffed it all over my face, but then for more delicate areas such as around my eyes, I just switched to a different foundation brush. To conceal my under eyes, I use the Inika Certified Organic Perfection Concealer and apply this all underneath my eyes with a concealer brush. My camera did cut out when I was blending it out, but I did blend it out with a damp beauty sponge and then set it in place with the Baked Mineral Foundation in the shade Inspiration Y8. And then for my under eyes, I just took all the eyeshadows I used in the crease from the Day to Night palette and just blended them underneath my lower lash line. I then took a clean blending brush and just made sure that all those edges were blended out and everything was looking really seamless because you really don't want your under eyes to look harsh. I'm then taking the Inika Loose Mineral Eyeshadow in the shade Gold Dust and applying this into my inner corners. Applying it with a really small brush first and taking a pencil brush and blending it out. Then picking up the long lash mascara once again, I'm going to take that and apply a generous coat to my lower lashes. So picking up the Inuka Loose Mineral Bronzer in the shade Sunkissed, I apply this to the hollows of my cheekbones around my forehead and my temples. This added a really nice bronzy glow to my skin and added a little bit of color that it needed. I really liked this product, it was really easy to use and it wasn't a muddy bronzer, it was just the perfect, beautiful, warm toned shade. Then picking up the Baked Mineral Blush Duo in the shade Burnt Peach, I'm applying this to the apples of my cheeks for a little flush of colour. I then took the Inika Certified Organic Cream Illuminizer in the shade Spice and apply this to the tops of my cheekbones. I know you're not supposed to use creams on top of powders, but this blended so beautifully on top of the powders that I'd already applied, so I had to use it. I then took the, um, oh, what's this called? It is the Baked Mineral Illuminizer and apply that on top with a fan brush for a little extra highlight. For lips, I wanted to do a bold color, but something a little bit different. So I first aligned my lips with the Certified Organic Lip Pencil in the shade Sugar Plum and then applied the lipstick in After Dark on top. I then took a lip brush in the shade Auburn Ambition and just lined the outer corners of that just for something different. And that's it. So this is it for the finished look guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new today. I'd love it if you let me know what you thought in the comments down below as always. And if you did enjoy this video, please give me a massive thumbs up and share this video. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please do because we, we can have some new people join the fam, you know? Because our family just keeps growing and I love it. I love you guys. But yes, that is it from me today. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.